manually cropping individual images with graphic editing tools to maintain the focal point can be time intensive. However, Cloudinary offers its machine learning and AI-powered content-aware cropping as a solution to this problem. We can transform images on the fly while also allowing you to tell Cloudinary which parts of the image to keep. By applying the gravity transformation parameter for an image URL, you can instruct Cloudinary to automatically detect which part of the original image to retain. This applies a G for gravity in the URL to activate the transformation no matter what cropping, scaling, or padding options are applied. The best part of this transformation is that it is fast and easy for any developer to apply. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to the different gravity options, including hard-coded directional types and a variety of automatic detection options. First, we'll start by cropping an image with compass style directions. These represent a location in the image. For example, G Northeast represents the top right corner, whereas G Southwest designates the bottom left corner. As an example, we have this image of a skateboarder which is 892 by 595. In our media library, let's find the image, then select the edit icon to open up the transformation options. From here, let's crop the image to 400 by 400 using the width and height sliders. Next, we are going to change the crop style to crop. This should let us extract a region of the given width and height out of the original image. As you can see, this keeps the center of the image while cropping the content evenly on all sides. While this could work, some key aspects of the image are being left out, such as the skateboarder or specific members of the crowd. One way we can bring those people into view is through cropping to a specific direction of the image. Using compass directions provided through the gravity drop-down field such as northeast, south, and southwest, we can focus on those areas. For example, northeast keeps the area where the skater is located, whereas southwest crops to an area where the crowd is in the image. When south is applied, it crops to the area where the bike happens to be. But even with compass-based directions, your key points of interest can be cut out of the frame. Additionally, it's rarely going to give you consistently optimal results if you try to apply the same directional gravity to multiple images or on user-generated content where you don't know in advance where the important content is located. One way to create a more reusable cropping style is to have it locate interesting or important aspects in the image. For example, we may want to automatically crop on the most prominent face in this group image. This can be done using G-Face thanks to Cloudinary's facial recognition capabilities. You can even take advantage of additional capabilities with Cloudinary's Advanced Facial Attributes Detection add-on. With it, you can center the image around certain aspects of the face, such as the eyes. The G-Face transformation, as well as some of Cloudinary's other face-based gravities, are valuable when you expect all images to include faces as the primary element of the photo, such as when you need to handle user uploaded photos for profile images. But if you don't know what kind of content will be in the pictures you need to handle, then you need a smarter way of deciding where to crop. In this case, you can apply Cloudinary's automatic gravity algorithm, which uses a combination of heuristics or deep learning algorithms to detect and display the most interesting aspects of the image. In this example, it is the skater and the crowd. We originally created the G-Auto transformation which can still be defined in the URL as G-Auto Classic. However, we also have created two variants of G-Auto to allow for even more precise cropping. G-Auto Subject and G-Auto Object. These transformations determine where the human eye will be drawn in the image which provides better crop results for images with challenging content, such as multiple faces. This can be demonstrated using this example image with two bears. With G-Auto Classic, one bear is more in frame than the other, whereas applying G-Auto Subject gives equal weight to both subjects. In a similar way, this image of a lake 
would be cropped to the tree against the bright blue and white sky with the original Giotto classic. Whereas Giotto subject focuses on the subjects that are most likely to capture human attention, primarily the boat, lake, and the mountains. If you decide to apply Giotto without specifying classic or subject, Cloudinary applies the best practice autocrop algorithm for the cropping mode you use. As an example, fill and crop use subject as the default and thumb uses the classic style. Further details about the Giotto subject transformation are available in our documentation. There may be some images where you want to draw attention to a specific object. For example, in this kitchen picture, we want to be sure the cake remains in the delivered image, regardless of the crop or aspect ratio used. Rather than playing with compass style directions or using our automatic cropping transformations, you can let Cloudinary detect the object with Giotto Object. This transformation helps to ensure the object is kept when the image is cropped. As you can see, Giotto Classic and Giotto Subject do not achieve our goal. They are focusing on interesting aspects, but the cake is our sweet spot. However, we can apply object detection by defining the cake as the object in the transformation. G Auto colon cake. Notice that the cake is now front and center. Our object detection can find literally dozens of specific objects within images, allowing you to use it for many purposes. Using this example image of a hiker, Giotto Classic with the sea thumb crop recognizes the area of the hiker as the most salient element, but cuts off the backpack. To maintain the integrity of the backpack, you could enter Giotto Backpack in the URL. A full list of available objects we detect can be found in our official documentation. You can instruct Cloudinary to crop based on items as diverse as bicycles, cows, and more. If you request a crop based on an object that isn't detected, we fall back to the core G Auto option. For example, we attempted to find a bicycle in the hiking picture, but Cloudinary still successfully cropped and delivered the image even when you requested an object it could not find. Please note that all details dealing with the G Auto object transformation will require the Cloudinary Object Aware cropping add-on. Our team has plenty of other resources for you to learn about our gravity cropping capabilities. This includes complete documentation on the cropping transformations, covering every parameter, option, and tweak available to you. Last, we want to hear from you. If you use any of the gravity cropping options for your projects, please share your examples. We love to share your successes too. And of course, we're here to provide support if you need any assistance.